Hi, and welcome to The Daily Funk. I'm Alan, and in today's episode we're asking the question, are animals self-aware? People have always found animals fascinating, and it's easy to get lost in all the different ways they're able to do things. But one question that's always fascinated people is whether or not animals have a sense of self. For example, if you see a dog, does it think, hey, there's my head? Or does it just think about its own paws? Does a cat know it has fur? Or does it just feel warmth on its body without having any idea why? Is there an animal out there who knows that they are alive and have thoughts? To answer this question, we need to look at two things. First, how much do animals seem like they're aware of their own existence compared with other species, including humans? And second, can we measure this kind of awareness by testing them in some way? There are lots of ways scientists can test animals' thoughts to determine whether or not they're conscious beings. From studying how much empathy they show towards others, which humans do but many other animals don't, to seeing if they're able to learn tricks quickly, dogs excel here. We've also got some pretty good ideas about which species show signs of being self-aware thanks to tests like these. Some people say that a creature needs to be able to think about itself in order for it to be considered self-aware. Others think it's only necessary for an animal to recognize itself in the mirror or through another form of reflection. Still others claim that just being able to learn your name is sufficient evidence of self-awareness, while others will argue this isn't enough and you have to have some kind of concept or understanding of yourself as something separate from other things around you. In other words, they believe animals need consciousness in order for them not only know themselves, but also realize their own existence. So what constitutes consciousness? Does seeing yourself in a mirror count as consciousness? Or does having an abstract concept about yourself count instead? And how do we know if other animals, or even plants, possess these abilities too? The most common test for self-awareness is the mirror test, where animals that recognize their reflection usually show signs of thinking it's another animal or another version of themselves. For example, if you mark and then shave one side of a monkey's forehead and put him in front of a mirror, he won't see the marking on his face. But if he has his own reflection, he'll try to groom that spot as if there was some kind of foreign object on his head. In other words, it seems like the monkey thinks there's an other monkey staring back at him, one with a strange growth on its skull. This doesn't prove that monkeys have human-level intelligence or social awareness. They might just be able to recognize objects. But it does suggest something about how monkeys view themselves and interact with others. We can never really know for sure whether or not animals are self-aware because we can't measure consciousness. However, we do know that humans have a strong sense of self, a feeling that there's an I in our identity. And it seems likely that other animals do too. In fact, lots of experiments show that animals have some kind of awareness or sense of themselves as individuals. Dogs recognize their own scent on objects, and birds sing different songs when they're alone than when they're around others, and learn which song is theirs. These kinds of behaviors suggest that animals have at least some idea about what it means to be an individual and how to communicate with other individuals. Animals are fascinating, and it's exciting to think they might be self-aware, but we'll probably never know for sure. It's hard enough to prove that we humans are self-aware. Maybe that's why people have always loved pets so much. They remind us of our own animalistic nature without being too different from us at the same time. What do you think about this? Do you think some animals are self-aware? What about plants and insects? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the like button on your way down there. We publish new short videos every weekday. So please subscribe so that we'll get to meet you again in our next video.